Hello and welcome to LibTech Tools. I'm Rachel Hendrick, the editor and publisher of Choice, and I'm here with Gary Price, the editor of InfoDocket and ARL Day in Review. In recent weeks, uh, there's been a lot of interest in web archiving, and we hope this video will be useful to you. It's a follow-up to the video we did 11 months ago on how to save web pages using the Internet Archive Wayback Machine. And today we're going to look at a um, browser extension from the Internet Archive that allows you to restore pages that are, are missing as you search the web. So, Gary, I'm really excited to see some of this. Um, a lot of web pages have changed in recent weeks. So, um, can you take us through it? Sure. Quick and simple and free. Important. What we're talking about today, as you said, Rachel, is the Wayback Machines extension. It's free, it's downloadable, and it's available for Chrome and Firefox. It sits in my browser in the upper right hand corner see where it says 1.4k that's the actual little icon but let's go back to what you said originally there is a lot of material that's disappearing so for example here is a us v us department of veterans affairs web page that is now file not found because i have the browser extension for the Internet Archive for the Wayback Machine on my computer, which you can do all sorts of things with. And we talked a lot about those, as you mentioned in the video 11 months ago. I can see right here, what you see the number 14, upper right hand, here we go, right here, that the Internet Archive has 14 copies of whatever document, whatever, whether this be a web page, PDF, in some cases, they're the index data formats as well. And then we also say that there's a lot of great web archiving projects out there these days. And this is just one of them. And this is just one of the many ways to get to the archive content. What's great about this one is it's always on and it's easy and it's free as all the content is. So you can see right here that whatever this page, or I think it's a PDF, that's now gone, yet the Internet Archive has 14 captures of it. So now all I have to do is click on the 14, the little icon, and it will tell me, and we, we're not going to have time to get into all these different buttons. You can explore that on your own. Maybe we can do another video. But right now, I will click on Oldest. And with one click, it takes me back to the oldest capture of this, in this case, PDF, the slide deck, PDF of a slide deck, that was captured on, up here on the upper left-hand corner, March 18th, 2021. But as we also know, documents, web pages, whatever the material can change over time. So let's just say for whatever reason, I want to see if this document has changed over those 14 different captures that they have of it. I can just click right now on 14 captures. And now I can quickly see all the different captures and the dates that they were made. So now I can go back, let's say to 2023. There you go. A capture of that same PDF was made on March 22nd, 2023. Click on it and it will open up that. It looks a little bit different. See what I'm saying? So the reason that I want to point this out, we have a lot of a lot of material has been archived. Of course, not all of it. But with the Wayback Machine uh, browser extension, it makes it fast and easy and puts it at the place of need where you might want to get back to something that has either changed over time or has completely file not found 404 and that's all available with the browser extension for chrome and firefox from the internet archive wayback machine thank you so much gary i think it's immensely useful especially um as web pages change all the time you know I, for, for all sorts of reasons um and it's so useful to have that button right there as opposed to having to go back to the wayback machine and and uh, put in the URL. Right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.